Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Captain Damn Guru. Some of you remember me from my kitty show days. Most people know me as the evil opposite of Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> oh, it's just so wonderful to be here. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm here tonight to do this uh, phone call in business here. Uh, my job. My job in Ulytic as the Kitty Show host, I've been temporarily suspended, and I, I'm real sorry to hear about that. Woodruff Place, Indiana, you're on the air. Hi, Captain. I'm Ray, and I'm damn proud to talk with someone who still likes to smoke. I'm oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm 13, and I want to begin smoking. Should I smoke filtered or non-filtered? Non-filtered every time. You know, smoking a filtered cigarette's like kissing a woman's breast when she's wearing a flannel nightgown. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what, you say this is your first cigarette? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, go ahead, light it up. Light it up. Okay, now take a big old whiff, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just love when they do that. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois, you're on the air. Uh, Chicago. Hey, at least track you over there. Come on, answer. Talk. At least you got a booger. You ever heard of a hysterical pregnancy where it's all in your imagination? Hey, shut it. Wait, come here. <laughs> Hold on one second. Oh, well. <laughs> Bastard's got my lines. <laughs> Come here. You damn fool, you gave me the wrong line. <laughs> this doesn't usually happen, folks. <laughs> Yo, Captain, why did you give me your lines anyhow? Well, as you can see, this is all ad lib. <laughs> I'm calling from my car phone, and the worst thing just happened. What just happened? I was at a red light, and I pulled out a nice long booger. The last half inch was wet and, s and slimy like a gooey snail trail. It got struck to my fingernail. It was so gross, man. Anyway, I flicked it, and now I can't find it. And a real important client is coming to the car in five minutes. What should I do? Hey, well, you think you got problems? At least you got a booger. <laughs> You ever hear of a hysterical pregnancy? You know, that's when you're imagining it. Well, Deja I think boom, I got man. a hysterical booger. <laughs> Amazing. You know, the kind that's way up there and you dig and dig and can't find it. I mean, it's like being a camel in the middle of the desert or something, for God's sake. Well, anyway, uh, uh, you know, people that are constipated and, and uh, non-orgasmic, now they get all the credit for being frustrated, but I think having a hysterical booger deserves a lot of credit, too. I'm going to watch your show more often. Well, Captain thank Dangaroo. you very much.